All right, my turn. So for our other one, I'm going to bring, bring it up this week. I found one who is probably, it could go either way. Uh, this artist is currently performing in a musical across the nation, uh, an adaptation of The Bodyguard. She just released an EP covering Whitney Houston's songs from the movie, and that is Deborah Cox. Now, I'll let you guys share your thoughts on it. Oh, Deborah Cox. Oh, in another world, you would be my wife. Oh, God. <laughs> what? That but we're count. talking about music, and we're not talking about um, 90s crushes. So, uh, Deborah, I love you to death. Her first album, amazing. Her second album, even better. She was really on track to really, to me, dominate the 90s. I remember picking her and Kelly Price as the two that I thought were going to just, like, dominate the 2000s and unfortunately that just didn't happen i think vocally she's among one of the best ever ever like ever i put her vocals up there across the totality of r&b as far as just strong pure clear vocals and although i love that child to death i i just can't do it because the output just isn't there her first two albums are great She's had some really good singles here and there that have gone under the radar that I'm fans of. But even though the pipes are wonderful and those first two albums are great, I just don't see it as a kind of a game changing influence over R&B to put her in. So regretfully, I got to tear my heart out and say no. And now we got to get divorced. (laughs) Damn. You know what? You still got got a Dina Howard, Ed. Yes, I still got Adina. <laughs> She'll never let me down. Yep. Uh, Ed, you know what? I'm a thousand percent um, with you on this one. The reason I say that, like you said, the first two albums were amazing. But for my um, analysis and how I kind of determine whether you're in the Hall of Fame or not, you got to at least give me three. They don't have to be classics, but they have to be three great albums. The ones after that, they were okay. I don't think they were great by any stretch. So, you know, she has the first two and that's it. So, I'm. it's going to be a no, but I'll also give her a another half a mark just because she's from Canada. So, she's at a 2.5. And that's all I can really <laughs> give her right now. So, Deborah, I'm sorry as well. Claire, you can't cheat. You can't cheat for your country women. If I can't cheat for my wives, you can't cheat for your country women. Yeah, Damn. another tough blow to Canada, unfortunately. She's out. <laughs> but I think we all agree. The unfortunate thing is she hasn't had a new album in almost a decade now. So it's kind of like she... That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. O- o- almost. Cr- I did not think of it until you just said that, but you're right. Because the promise was... Yep. I hadn't even... I think I had just launched my site. So yeah, that would have been like 08. 08? That was one of the first re- albums I reviewed. Yeah. Damn. So It's okay, guys. Yeah. Um, there's probably a new R&B fan out there who doesn't know Deborah Cox's music at all that's going to download this new EP that she released with the Whitney Houston covers. Not even know that they're Whitney's, Whitney Houston songs and she's going to be... Oh, and that, my God. That, that person's going to be like, man, this is amazing music. So that <laughs> 2.5 might turn into a 3. Who knows? Oh, boy. Well, yeah, we're talking vocally. Like, there is no question that she is up there. But for any new fan, I would tell her, him or her, to go check out her debut album from 95. That thing is just loaded with bangers. And then her second album, One Wish, Nobody's Supposed to Be Here, was like a record-breaking song. That one was like on the top of the charts forever. And for someone who lived through 1998 R&B, that can tell you, that song did not leave radio rotation for like a year and a half. Right. That song was huge. But after that, it just kind of, she kind of like drifted over the dance. She had a bunch of number one dance songs. But as great as she is, she just couldn't recapture the, the magic of those first two albums. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.